Hey guys, welcome to all of you on our channel. So friends, in today's video uh, of our series that is Knowledge Valley we will talk about poverty. So friends, uh, many of you might have heard the word poverty and many of you might know its meaning. Uh, but before starting the uh, this, this video, let me explain to you what poverty is. So friends, there are different economists, there are different sociologists, multiple sociologists who have proposed different definitions of poverty. But not one definition has been accepted by any of, any of the social scientists. So the most effective way to define the poverty has been uh, to, to say that the lack of ability to meet the basic needs is called poverty. So if you, for example, if you are living and uh, you are not able to meet your basic needs like food, like health, education, housing, safe drinking water, so then uh, you could be called and uh, you could be said to be in, uh, in the poverty, in the poverty, po uh, in the poverty ridden situation. So friends, uh, there are multiple uh, and different methods which are adopted the world over to measure the poverty. So in India, for example, uh, we have 20% uh, of our population living below the poverty line. So how that is calculated? How uh, in the world uh, the poverty is calculated? So basically, it, the, uh, the approach is to see that whether uh, th th there are certain uh, basic needs that are, that are considered and it is seen that whether these, uh, these basic needs are, uh, are whether the person who is concerned is is able to meet these basic needs or not so if in case it doesn't uh, he doesn't able to meet its basic needs uh, the in the mentioned list then he could be called in in, in poverty so friends uh, here in this video we will be talking about uh, your multi-dimensional poverty index so let's see what is that so friends multi-dimensional poverty index it is released by united nation development program one of the six agents dedicated agencies the world over so it, it focuses on the development initiative and various uh, various other things that are associated with development so the poverty uh, index that we are talking about in this video uh, it is released by United Nation Development Program and here uh, the approach followed is you can see here I have included a diagram so you can see here the three indicators are key indicators are looked at so for, uh, for example health education and living standard so in health comes your nutrition in, uh, and child mortality in education comes your years of schooling and school attendance and in living standard comes your cooking fuel sanitation water electricity uh, your floor and assets so friends uh, this this multi-dimensional poverty index but basically it uh, wants to do it uh, it it ident it tries to identify the uh, the extent of poverty uh, that is on the people so it it looks at the health indicators education indicators and living standard indicators and see whether the people are uh, able to meet these needs or not if in case uh, for example take your example or my example if i am not able to uh, meet uh, uh, the three uh, the three out of these 10 indicators that if one third of these three uh, one, uh, one third of these 10 indicators then i will be i uh, i could be considered in a in poverty line so basically you can see the basic only the basic needs are included like health nutrition child mortality education years of schooling uh, school attendance living standard cooking fuel sanitation water electricity floor assets so friends uh, this is the way in which united nation development program me uh, measures your poverty and in 2018 it released its recent report so let's look uh, have a look at uh, at the what what the report says what what is the scenario over the world over about the poverty so you can see that uh, let me share with you the next slide so here is uh, the the report detailed report so you can see that 2018 report shows that multidimensional poverty uh, is is quite high in 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 our world so nearly 1.3 billion population is uh, is multidimensionally poor so it is not able to meet even its one, even uh, even the one third of the needs basic needs that are mentioned in the previous diagram that i have so shown to uh, shown to you so here uh, if 1.3 billion people are living below poverty line that means 130 crore so you can see how how many people are living in penury so it is a totally deplorable condition so here also friends uh, let me tell you that important fact is here that 83% of this 1.3 billion people live 
live in your sub-Saharan Africa and your uh, uh, South Asia. So if you see South Asia and your Africa, then your 83% uh, uh, of the population is is uh, is 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 in poverty line uh, uh, out of out of this 1.3 billion population world over. So uh, so in fact, friends, uh, the the scenario in case of children are uh, is particularly grim because children are half of the multidimensionally uh, poor people. So if there are 130 crore people who are poor, then out of these 130 crore, 65 crore are children. So you can see the condition. So two thirds of old multidimensional poverty poor people live in middle income countries so you can see that uh Europe and Central Asia has only 4 million uh, but South Asia has 546 million so in this uh, Latin America and uh, the Caribbean has 32 million and the Arab states have 66 million so friends let me tell you that as we are Indians obviously we will be concerned about the India's position so let me tell you friends that in condition for India is not that much good because we have the largest number of people in the world which are living in uh, in, multi, uh, in, a, in a kind of situation of multidimensional poverty so how uh, what is the number so we have a 364 million people who are living below poverty line and uh, and uh, and we are followed by Nigeria so India has this dubious distinction of being the home to highest number of poor people uh, who are multidimensionally poor so this this is the report about the about the, uh, about the, uh, the entire world but now let's see the India specific information I will need not take your much uh, much time so you can see here the India's performance is that yes India has improved a quite uh, it has showed a quite uh, impressive performance because uh, uh, in in 2005-6 India had 55% uh, of its population uh, uh, that is that is multi-dimensionally poor but now it is just only 28% so in 10 years we have seen a huge reduction in the in the pe in the number of people who are living in uh, in poverty so uh, this this 10 year period is from year 2005 to 2015 so 271 million people have moved out of poverty so certainly the efforts of the Indian government is command commendable where but whichever government it is it has done a tremendous job in moving uh, 270 million people out of the poverty so you uh, but let me tell you friends that as I have told you that situation is not that much pleasing because we also have the distinction of being home to the largest number of poor people for example there are 364 million people that are uh, multidimensionally poor in India so in fact if we see the state scenario then this is uh, Bihar is uh, is the purest poorest state in India so if it, it, it has uh, it has uh near about uh, half of its population that is that is poor so friends uh, uh, this the, but this video but the purpose of this video was it uh, the basic purpose was to give an idea about the poverty and also the the main main uh, theme of this video was to show that how the inequality is there in our world so you can see that uh, uh, in the previous slides also i have to, so i have told you that uh, your sub saharan africa and uh, south asia uh, is home to 83% of the poor people so it is quite a large number that means uh, th there is a huge inequality uh, in in the world so if, uh, sometimes the cont continents are quite large but they don't have uh, uh, so much number of people living in poverty but uh, uh, but some some nations are small and that uh, and that they have a huge a huge number of people uh, that uh, that are that are below poverty line so it is basically this this video shows you the scenario of the poverty and how the world world is uh, faring in the in the poverty scenario so this is all about friends today's video if you like the video then do share it uh, also ensure that you subscribe to our channel and do not forget to press the bell icon because then only you will get all the important notifications regarding uh, our updates that we do on our channel so thank you friends have a very nice day